Today, I'm gonna to be giving up the 15 amp charging on the AC300 and this AC300, and we're gonna switch out these two cords for this nice 30 amp cord. Because sometimes I just don't have enough solar to charge those batteries, and I need to connect it to the grid to get them charged. Although this can be an off-grid system, I like having it tied to the grid simply because days like today and probably for the next several days, we're going to be in some heavy winds and some big storms coming from a hurricane that just made landfall in Florida. But we're about 600 miles north and that's how big this storm is. So it's important to have some type of backup, especially if you're in those hurricane areas in Florida this is a great option for you. So I wanna switch mine from charging at 15 amps to 30 amps. And the way that we're gonna do this is to hook this in to our grid and then we'll be able to charge at 30 amps. However, there are a couple settings on the AC300 that you need to be aware of because if you just get the cord and you try to hook this up and charge at 30 amps, you're not gonna be able to do that. And I'm gonna show you why. But the first thing that I need to do is get this connected to each one of these AC300s. This is considered AC1 and this is AC2. That's the way I've set it up. I've set this up as the master and this as the slave. So if I turn this on or off, it automatically controls this one over here. So on the cord itself, there's AC1 and AC2. You'll wanna make sure to connect those into the correct uh, AC300, and then we'll connect it in to our uh, plug on the wall back here, and then I'll show you exactly what we need to do to set this up so it could charge at 30 amps. And there's a white dot on the top of this cable that will face upward. Then you just tighten it down. And you should be able to see it better in this shot here because we have the white dot at the top, the white dot here. You just push it in to its position and tighten it down. And if you run into the problem that I've run into, which is having this end here, which is the L1430, and your wall outlet is a, a NEMA 1450R, then you have two options. Either you can replace your outlet or you could buy an adapter. I chose to buy an adapter because it's so much easier. So you'd buy a female end for this one and a male end for the actual 1450R. And all you need to do is make the connection on this because this is a four wire hookup and it's 240 volts. This is a four wire hookup and 240 volts rated at 50 amps. So this is more than enough to handle anything that would be pulled by the AC300s. And now you just need to plug it in to your outlet. And you wanna save these cables because if you're gonna ever take this somewhere where you may not have that 240 volt connection, you could still use your 15 amp cables later on. And the settings that I'm about to show you to do on this AC300, you'll have to do on both AC300s. Go to settings, hit next, look for max grid input current. Right now it's set at 15 amps. We'll change that into advanced mode. But if we happen to hit basic mode, you'll see that you can only do one to 15 amps. You cannot charge, you know, 16 to 30 amps. So escape, we'll have to hit advanced. You'll have to read the disclaimer and agree to it. And then you'll have to obtain a password login from Blue Eddy. This code can be obtained through the online chat, uh, through the app chat or you can send them an email or give them a call and they'll supply you with that code with no problem. This is just put in place to protect people from putting on 30 amps when they might have a 15 amp cord and then that would be something that's very dangerous. From here, you'll have several different options. You can do 20, uh, 25, 30, the presets, or you can do the user defined. I'm just gonna go ahead and do 30. And it sets it up here. And then when we hit back, it makes the selection. Now we're max grid input current is set at 30 amps. And currently I have these set up as PV priority for charging and they only start charging at 30% or less. If you want to change that, you can do it in the app. And I'll show you how to do that. Open the app, go to my devices, 
pick which one of the AC300s that you'll work with first. We're going to go with AC302 right here at the top. Now we'll go over to the gear at the top right corner. Hit that and come down to working mode PV priority UPS. I'm going to change that to state of charge because I want to get this thing charging. I will change this back later, but let's change it to 90%. And now that should set that AC300. And then we'll do the same for this one. And let's go to 90%. Let's get these things charged up. You can see that this one is charging at 3000 watts. So we're pulling from the grid 3000 watts. And this one close to 3,000 watts as well, 2,900 watts, almost 3,000 there. So 6,000 watts between the two that were charging the B300 batteries over on our AC1 and the B300K batteries, which I have a full video on if you would like to check that out on these batteries on the AC2. And that's how you set up your AC300 to charge at 30 amps. And the cool thing is these could charge independently. So I went in and set this to stop at 72%. And then this one will stop at 72%, but it hasn't gotten there yet. So it continues to charge while this one has already stopped charging. 